And your officials this evening, referee Liam Shaw, linesman Danny Beresford, and the other linesman is Chris Wells. And Liam Shaw gets the action underway here this Wednesday evening. Around about half full in the storm shelter. Good turnout as well. Good to see some Coventry Blaze fans have made the trip uh, up the, uh, the M42 and the M6 to come and be with us here this evening. Around about on comes Barmer, on comes Stannis in defence. Right in front of a net, and as you would expect, the Coventry Blaze clearing house didn't like who uh, it was Luke Moffitt who tried to get his stick on the rebound as Priest gathered that one for Coventry. And the Blaze defenders doing what defenders are meant to do, uh, making sure that their netminder is protected. Blaze in behind, and the Blaze have scored. In behind Clemente's net, passed into the lane, right in front of the Manchester Storm netminder. And with 13.33 on the clock, left to go in this the first period. It is Manchester Storm nil, Coventry Blaze one, Shane. Yeah, just look at a quick down, uh, play down low. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't pick up our guys going to the net, and uh, he was left alone in front and buried that one. Mr. Ness still with reception out into the lane. Great save, great save by the Coventry Blaze netminder this evening, Bryson Priest, high to his right hand side as that shot came in there from last year's Elite League top scorer, Matt Becker. Good bit of pressure, Shane, from the Manchester Storm. Yeah, we had to answer back after that goal, so it's good to see us getting some offense, getting the puck in deep, that shift, and coming up with a golden opportunity, unfortunately, didn't go in for us. Out to Stanis on the blue line. Shot comes in straight through the legs. Lost in traffic. And Matt Stanish manages to squeeze a blue liner through the traffic. And that one will stand. 5.20 in the first to go. Coventry Blaze 1, Manchester Storm 1, Shane. Yeah, yeah. Quick shot there by Matt Stanish. Really good D-man with a lot of offensive upside. And he just gets the puck, gets it through the traffic with a quick release, and it uh, goes in for him. Good to see you. Still looking to find a way through. Becker, Hammond to Bissonette. Into the lane, looking for the deflection, looking for a little tip. But Storm retained the puck, back with Stanish, back to Hammond once again. Shot comes in from the left point, from Hammond. And this is dangerous now. Dingle for Coventry. It's another shorthander for the Coventry Blaze. Great sights from Ryan Dingle. And it's Valorand who's got another goal for the Blaze against the Storm, short-handed. That one's going to hurt, Shane. Yeah, you never want to give it a short-handed opportunity. I liked how our power play looked, but unfortunately we gave up a short-handed chance there on a two-on-one. Just watching the replay. Textbook hockey from the Coventry Blaze. They'll be very happy about that. Swindlehurst fighting though, comes away with a put, looking for a wraparound shot across into the lane. Shot comes in. And textbook hockey once again. It's the Storm captain, Jay Rosehill. From the point, straight over the shoulder of Priest in the Coventry Blaze net. And exactly what the Storm would have wanted to get straight back into the game as quickly as possible. Yeah, we needed a big bounce back shift after that goal, that shorthanded goal we gave up. but. Now you see it again, our D-men getting involved. Swindlehurst get, not being afraid to get down low. Wins the puck, makes it a very offensive play, finds Rose Hill, and uh, Jay makes no mistake, puts it right in the back of the net. There is that 60-second warning, it's loud. And it's another goal for the Coventry Blaze. And once again, textbook hockey. Down the wing, pass into the lane, man waiting for them there, right in front of Mike Clemente. Easy tapping, Shane. Yeah, this uh, this one line that Coventry has with Vowerland and Dingle, they they seem to be very, they're clicking really well tonight with another goal there from a nice cross ice play and a nice shot. Five goals in the first period so far. 54 seconds left in the first. Three on three break, looking to apply the pressure. Nate Fleming looking for somebody in the points. 
but there was nobody there in a grey shirt, but there was somebody there in a Coventry Blaze shirt. Ben Lake taking it across Clemente's goal. Uh, not Clemente, sorry, it's Declan Ryan who's in the net, force of habit. Uh, across Ryan's goal. Ryan managing to grab hold of it though, net has come off its moorings. And Declan Ryan just having a little lay down. Strength in depth really in the net-minded department, Shane, for Manchester Storm this season. We've, uh, we've seen, obviously, we're very familiar with Mike Clemente here, but we've seen Declan Ryan and Ashley Smith, and uh, everyone seems to be performing well so far. Yeah, no, yeah, three good goaltenders. It, it makes you confident as a player to, player to know that you got a, you got a good, uh, good goalies behind you, always supporting you. So we're fortunate enough to have all three, and, you know, Declan Ryan just stood up, stood up there and made a really big save. It's too bad uh, that was his first save of the night. You'd let, rather see him get warmed up a little bit, but makes a heck of a toe save there. And as we say that, the officials have gone over to the timekeeper's booth. We think it's a goal for the Coventry Blaze. They certainly didn't spend very long over in that timekeeper's booth. I saw the, uh, the officials walk in, come straight back out again. And yes, it is a goal for the Blaze. Here's Beggy's through on goal. Oh, what a great save by Priest once again. He is having a phenomenal game for the Coventry Blaze. The Blaze D there just to make sure he's protected as well as he smothered that. It was Becker with the layoff. I think it was Hammond who, uh, who got the shot away in the end there for Manchester Storm. But Bryson Priest is certainly going to be winning a lot of Coventry Blaze fans over tonight for his efforts in the Blaze net. Moffitt has it back, looking to get it through traffic. Yes, it is there. It is there for the Manchester Storm. Took two deflections on the way through, came off the pads of Priest, I think, in the end. And Gerard Hansen was the Storm player there, waiting for the loose puck. I think he actually miscontrolled it as well to start with. And then managed to find the targets. Power play goal for the Manchester Storm. It is Storm 3, Blaze 4. 8.44 of the second left to go. For the Blaze, it's, it's a breathless game of hockey in this second. Yeah, a lot of energy coming after those two goals and we're back to that track meet style play going back and forth. Both goalies coming up with big saves. Really exciting to watch. Oh. It was Clements with a shot. Ryan, I think, managed to, uh, to smother the puck. And then there was a big hit on Clements after the shot. Not sure exactly who it was. Just watching the replay now. There's Clements with that shot just from the left-hand side. And then a big check that the officials weren't happy with. Storm now have control with their captain, Jay Rosehill. Pushed off it by uh, Lawyers. Yes, it's there! I must admit, I have my eyes on Jay Rosehill there. He's still having just a little bit of a conversation. I couldn't see who the Blaze player was in question. And they're still going at it. Dane Byers getting involved there as well. But the Storm take the lead. 124 left to go on the second period. It's Manchester Storm 5, Coventry Blaze 4. <laughs> Counting down in the second period, 42 seconds left to go. Looking for one final last big push as Earhart brings it out for the Storm. Intercepted though. And a big finish, very almost. In fact, it is there for the Blaze. Big save from Declan Ryan, I was going to say. Didn't see the rebound come out, though. And the Blaze were there to tap in that rebound. And the Manchester Storm got caught out there in the deep. Yeah, Coventry's been pretty lethal tonight on their two-on-ones. Right there again, Declan makes a huge first save. But unfortunately, 
Coventry comes in and picks up the rebound and buries it. That save coming across there. Ryan going post to post, blocks it out. I must admit, I actually thought he had the puck, but no, he was, came out behind him. Becker and Hammond, very almost, very almost getting it on the breakaway there for Manchester, but a stick in from Blaze and a goal on the power play for the Coventry Blaze. Pass up onto the right line, shot comes in straight over the glove of Declan Ryan. Uh, another good shot, I and mean, you can kind of see it coming. Coventry's been dangerous on the power play all night. May not have got rewarded earlier, but they just did now with a, with a good shot there over the glove of Declan. And we think it was that man, Ryan Dingle, who has been a thorn in the sides of the Manchester Storm all night. Who managed to grab that one for the Coventry Blaze? 14.55 with another shot coming in, blocked on the blue line. The race is on, it's Dane Byers for the Storm. Very almost managing to get that away, only with one glove on as well. He uh, lost a glove as he was on the breakaway there, trying, fighting to get through. And we've got a penalty against the Coventry Blaze. Number 18, Analoff, is in the box. We mentioned how, uh, how devastating the Manchester Storm power play were last Wednesday. Not really had a chance to, uh, to show their wares tonight. But they start to circle things, that line of Bissonette, Becker and Hammond once again out there. Here is Bissonette. Stannis in support on the blue line. Fake shot across, what a goal. That was one straight from the training ground. Circled around the zone. One touch hockey from the D. Forward to Becker, across, and it was Matt Bissonnette who scores another goal for the Manchester Storm. Now you see a lot of chemistry there. That was a really nice play to watch. Hammond down low to Becker, and without hesitation, Becker know where Bissonnette was going to be. Put it right on his tape, and Bissonnette put that one home easily. Lovely fake, one shot. Yeah, we're gelling very well. We're, we're uh, I think that's huge in a team. It's uh, uh, the connection in the locker room is something that's uh, that's really valued and uh, can really uh, lead a team to be successful. And we're really gelling really well so far. Shot in from Garen Ladd there for the Blaze, and another goal for the Coventry Blaze. Rebound came off Declan Ryan. Didn't see who managed to get the uh, finishing touch on that one. We'll see who takes the plaudits at the front of the line. Ryan Dingle again. If it was Dingle, that's his hat trick here this evening. What a game of hockey. Storm six, Blaze seven. Yeah, lots of goals this game. And you see Dingle again, very offensive, uh, very dangerous. And uh, he's rewarded with a big goal. So we've got five on three hockey. Only 10 seconds of that first penalty, so pretty much two minutes of five on three for the Storm to try and claw one back. They'll be looking to circle it now, try to find the space, try to open up a shooting lane. The drum starting up, Stanish on point. There's the first one. Another. Beautifully executed penalty play move, uh, power play move by the Manchester Storm. As we said, they'll be looking to circle that book around. Mike Hammond got the finish on that one. That line of Hammond, Becker, Bissonette once again coming to fruition, Shane. Oh, they're, all three of them are so skilled, so patient, so talented with the puck. And you really see their chemistry starting to click. That's two power plays in a row now where they almost make it look easy. Looks like routine, and it's nice to see them get rewarded again. From one side to the other, straight across, and a beautiful finish. Storm looking to break once again. Lyndon Springer with a shot, good bit of control. Took it around two blaze players. Springer still looking for the wraparound. 
And we've got some handbags down in front of the net. Luke Moffat is involved for the Manchester Storm. I can't see who is it for the Blaze. In fact, pretty much everyone getting involved down there now. Officials in the middle of that one. Managed to get in the middle of that before anything really came out. And a love again for the Coventry Blaze. He and Moffat for the Storm. And there still isn't over, just looking down, you're seeing the replay at home. Down on the ice. Still plenty of tempers flaring. On the ice there, fans calling for a tripping call. Nothing given from the referee, though. 40 seconds left to go. The Blazers are looking to mount one final push. One from the uh, training pad, perhaps. Line pass. Cut out by the storm. And here come the storm. And that is that has flicked up and that has hit a Coventry Blaze player straight in the face. I can't quite see who it is that is down on the ice for the Blaze. However, the official's quite right there, Shane, just to stop that. It uh, looks like it could be uh, uh, hopefully a not too serious injury, but uh, a head injury nonetheless. Yeah, he just saw the puck right up his stick there. He made a good play to get his stick in front of it, but looks like it came up and hit him somewhere in the face and you just hope he's okay. Just, uh, just watching the replay, yeah, that really did look very, very painful. Of course, Manchester Storm fans will be uh, uh, sadly all too familiar with, uh, with an injury like that. Eric Nielsen, last season, of course, suffered that uh, terrible eye injury. And it's the Coventry Blaze alternate captain, Kevin Noble. Blaze number 56, uh, who uh, sadly took that puck to the face there. He is now being escorted down to the dressing room area by the Coventry Blaze trainers, the Manchester Storm doctors. Uh, we'll be down there to take a look at that one, I say, sadly. Uh, experience of that here at the Manchester Storm. And we wish Kevin Noble a speedy recovery and hope that uh, the injury is not too serious. As we head into three on three overtime. First goal wins it, don't forget. A repeat of last Wednesday. In the Sky Dome in Coventry, it was decided by a penalty shot. What's going to happen this week? Patterson for the blaze. Dingle moves over in front of the net. Into the chest of Declan Ryan, cleared away there. Matt Becker doing clear away duties in front of the net for the Storm. Back to Lake on the blue line for Coventry. Ryan Dingle, breakaway now is Mike Hammond. And he wins it for the Storm. Cool, calm and collected in front of goal. Finding himself clean through on goal. One on one with the netminder. And Mike Hammond with a brilliant finish. Yeah, what a move by Hammond there. Go, show great patience. He's been offensive all night. Really happy to see him get the game winner. And certainly don't want to take away anything here from Bryson Priest, who, as I mentioned a couple of times this evening here on Storm TV Live, has had a brilliant night in goal for the Coventry Blaze. Good to see both backup netminders getting plenty of ice time out there. Mike Hammond clean through on goal, watching on the replay. Deeks to one side. Down goes Priest. And an easy finish for Hammond, who wins it. What a game of hockey. It has finished in overtime. Manchester Storm 8, Coventry Blaze 7.